Today we've got a quick review for you of the awesome Zhiyun Mollus G200 here. This is a fantastic portable yet powerful video light or studio light that's gonna pack a heck of a punch here. And man, this thing has not disappointed me. I've been using this thing in the studio for a while here and I wanted to give you the lowdown here because it's a fairly decently priced option for a very powerful light uh, that also happens to be really portable as well. So if you're always on the move or if you've got different studio setups, this thing might just be a, a winner for you. So first it's made by Zayun, and I don't actually know if I'm saying that right because I looked it up and it sounds like we can't really pronounce the right letters in English as it translates in Chinese. So the closest that I could find was Zayun, I guess, but it, that's probably not being said right. So if you do know how to say it uh, properly, let me know down in the comments. I've heard a ton of different translations. So I've always kind of called it Zayun with uh, the gimbals and stuff, which they are known for. But in terms of lights, man, I hope they keep making these things. So anyways, this is a 200 watt light with the ability to push this thing to 300 watts, which is incredibly powerful. But when you actually look at the size of this thing, it's kind of crazy where technology is taking us. This thing is amazing. And I really, really love and appreciate small products because I go through a lot. I have a lot of reviews and I got a lot of stuff kicking around the studio. So the, the smaller for me, the better if it can do the job. A few other quick things to note in terms of just the overall handling of it, it's gonna fit on any stand basically. It's just got kind of a screw mechanism there, one to get onto the stand, one over here to adjust the, of course, the, the tilt of this thing. And we've got one that is actually going to allow a rod to go through. So if you wanted to do some kind of modifier, like an umbrella or something, you can easily do that or just attach other things to it as well. Um, and it does have a built-in Bowens mount, which I really appreciate. No adapters or anything. It's built right in there. So you can just throw on your modifier and off you go. The build overall is good for me. It's a metal and plastic construction. I wouldn't be going dropping this thing like any light, of course, they're pretty sensitive, but overall, from what I can see, it's quite well made and no complaints in that department. So 200 watts with the ability to go all the way up to 300, very much welcome. This is a bi-color light ranging from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin, which is great. So you're gonna be able to pick and choose or match your color based on your project. Uh, and that's pretty handy. And let's talk about the price really quick. This thing comes in under 500 US dollars, which I think is an absolute steal. So that's really good for me considering a lot of the competitors are just a lot, a lot more expensive. I don't really see a huge need to spend a million dollars on lights these days because we have so many lights on the market and it's actually really hard to figure out why you should go one way or another. It's about quality, it's about the actual quality of light and the colors that you get out of it. This thing does a really good job at hitting a lot of the boxes that a lot of filmmakers are gonna be looking for. So for me, the price point is, is just about perfect. You never wanna buy the absolute cheapest thing, of course, but for me, getting the most out of the best and the most expensive things is really hard to justify in a lot of situations. So yeah, I tend to stick around the middle and this is kind of where this fits in. Now this thing is very bright. This is at 1% here and the calculation is basically at 100% at one meter, you're looking at about 9,460 lux. So it's very bright. It does come with a modifier and a nice case and it does have a control box that you stick into the bottom and it's easily controllable. So as you can see here, you've got two knobs and one is for basically the brightness and the other is for your color temperature. Now there's an option to hold it down to basically skip 20% or go to the next average of color temperature that you might be looking for, uh, which is really nice. You hold both to add that 100 watt extra pop if you really need it. So another really important consideration for some filmmakers is the noise that lights make, because yes, they are cooled by fans. And this one has two fans, one in the actual unit and one in the controller. So what does it sound like? Is it too loud? No, not at all. This thing actually very rarely pops on and when it does, it's pretty much silent. Here's the fan on at a normal recording level. And here's an example at plus 10 decibels. So I've actually only had this thing come on in just a, a few handful of situations and it's barely audible. So if you are wondering about how loud this thing is going to be, uh, in terms of overall filming, I don't think it's going to be an issue at all. 
So overheating is definitely not an issue in my experience. And it seems like these big kind of oversized fans for the size of these things are gonna keep this really, really cool if need be. So for me personally, one of my favorite things about this light is the size and the portability. And just having the ability to basically pack it up and move it around in, in a couple seconds here, throw it in this little nice kind of semi hard case, uh, is just really great. And I do have quite a few lights and lights that I've gone through and I've yet to see a 200 watt light or pretty much anything even close that's this size. Here's a look at a 60 watt light that I use quite often that I love just because of the size and the portability. But again, for 200 watts, this thing just blows that thing away completely. So really impressed as to what they've been able to pack into this thing. And again, for the kind of mid range price point, I think this thing's an absolute winner. Easy to use, easy to transport, great quality, great light quality that you get out of it. I don't know what more you could ever want from a light. So guys, for me, I would completely recommend this thing to you, absolutely. If you can pick it up on sale, even better. Again, lights these days are a dime a dozens, but this thing has definitely kind of stood out to me. If you did want to pick it up, I will drop affiliate links down below. Thanks so much to Zayun for sending me this thing for review, although they had no input on this video and all of this is completely my own opinion. Guys, if you'd like this video, hit that like and subscribe button, join the community, and like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.